Okay, I'm going to make a very short video for this question. I think this is progression from 5 MF for SPM. And I think this is one of the hot questions, which is higher order thinking skill questions. Because one of my Facebook students actually posed this question to me and he asked me for a solution. And since this one is a hot question, so I just like make a video to explain how to solve this one. Alright, so. Okay, we're going to solve A first, then we'll go to B. I think A and B is two different questions. Alright, A is the question say if log x plus log x squared plus log x cubed plus log x power 4 will equals to n bracket n plus 1. And then it asks you to find the values of x. So, in order to solve this question, I think you need to have some basic understanding about log. So, I'm going to copy down the question. Yeah, then I'm going to explain. So first thing I have log x, log 10x maybe, plus log 10x squared, plus log 10x cubed, plus log 10x power 4, will equals plus dot dot dot. I mean we still have a lot a lot more because this progression you won't you won't finish. Will equals to m plus 1. Means all the log here you plus together you will get, uh you will get the n bracket n plus 1. So the first thing is you have to understand this is as n because you plus everything you get this one in it. So I randomly understand it as n equals to n bracket n plus 1. Okay this is the first information come into my mind. Alright then I continue. So this, so I'm going to solve this one first because I need to find out whether this is arithmetic progression or geometric progression. And then log root tells us the power we can move in front. This is 2 log 10x plus 3 log 10x plus power we move in front. Huh? So, so this one power we move in front plus 4 log 10x then plus dot 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 and then we will get n bracket n plus 1. Alright, so I can predict the next few terms will be like log 10 x power 5, log 10 x power 6, log 10 x power 7, it will continue. Mean the x actually the power will continue increase 1. Alright, you must get the simple idea for this one. Alright, then what? Then, okay, in order to make this progression look even easier, what I will do is I will actually maybe I let log 10 k, uh, log 10 x equals to k. Alright, I make the whole thing because I I can see so many log 10 x over here. So this is k plus 2k plus 3k plus 4k plus dot dot dot. I will get n n plus 1. I mean I plus everything. Then I will get this one. Alright. Because if I change change the log 10x into k, you will see the progression is look so simple. Alright. So what I understand from here is this is a. So my a is equal to k. And my d is you can use 3k minus 2k or 2k minus k is k also. So because the second term minus the first term is not it. So it equals to 2k minus k. So it equals to k also. So from here, I will have some information. Okay, so since you understand it, I'm going to like, uh, I don't want to use red over here. Okay, use back the black color. So my a equals to k and my d equals to k also. All right. Then, then what I do next is, yeah, apply the formula. Apply the formula. I'm going to call it S n equals to n n plus one. And since you can see this one, two k minus k will same with three k minus two k. You know this is arithmetic progression. This is not geometric progression because for geometric progression, if you want to find r. You will get something like second term divided by the first term will equals to third term divided by the second term. Obviously, you 3k over 2k is not equals to 2k over k. All right, because they definitely will give the same answer and uh, uh, different answer. I mean, yeah. All right, so it's not the geometric progression in this case. It's arithmetic progression. So arithmetic progression, you of of course you have to know the formula for S n will be n over two bracket. Uh, 2a plus n minus 1d. Alright, so it will equal to n, n plus 1. Alright, I have no idea about what is the n here because the question doesn't give any information about n. But something I can share, I can like 
as sure is the n for both sides will be the same values of m so they are the same n all right because if you differentiate this one into like n1 and n2 the whole thing will become so complicated so i just assume all the n is the same thing so i just substitute my a and d into this equation and then i solve it so i move my n over 2 to the other side so over here i will have n m plus 1 multiple 2 over n because i move to the other side i have to flip over isn't it i hope you understand this one so my a is equal to k this is n minus 1 k all right so far I, I hope you still understand what is happening here okay okay let me just continue i'll just ignore the boundary yeah sometimes this thing happen all right so this is 2k plus okay this is maybe i call it kn minus k equals to n and n i simplified this is 2 n plus 1 all right 2k minus k i have k plus k n equals to 2 n plus 1 then i factorize out k this is 1 plus n and then this is 2 n plus 1 all right then then what then i just move the uh, 1 plus n because i want to find the k where k is a log x then i substitute in this is 2 n plus 1 over 1 plus n of course you have to understand n plus 1 and 1 plus n is the same thing because i can simplify here so i have k equals to 2 then my k is log 10x isn't it but just now i let log 10x equals to k equals to 2 so therefore my x will equals to 10 power of 2 and 10 power of 2 is x will equals to 100 all right you of course you have to understand about how i change this step to this step all right because you have to understand something like log a b equals to c b will equals to a power of c this is a simple rule of log so yeah the base 10 here become number the 2 here become power of 10 all right yeah so it's not really difficult if you understand about the question if you couldn't understand the question yeah it might seems a bit hard for you all right so yeah i have solved this one so i will get x equals to 100 so I hope you get my idea. So the first thing is you have to find out whether it's AP or GP, arithmetic progression or geometric progression. All right, the second step is you're trying to find out, you're trying to solve this one to find out what is A and D. And then of course, the last thing is you have to simplify your progression first. You have to simplify your progression first. Okay, like what I did just now. So I hope, yeah, I hope all this can uh, roughly make you understand a bit. Okay, then I'm going to erase all this and yeah, we're going to move on to B. Okay, just give me some time, erase everything here. Oh, a lot of things here. Okay. Yes, last. Okay. Then we're going to go to the part B. Okay, for part B, the question says that sine theta comma two cos theta and two sine theta are three consecutive terms. Conse consecutive term here over here is mean continuous term. Mean this three term is like continuous love, like first term, second term, third term, something like that. It's called consecutive term, mean they are continuous. Alright, in a certain AP. So obviously the question told you this is arithmetic progression. Find the values of theta in radian. So I just write down whatever I have. This this is the first term maybe. This is the second term and and yeah let me just write nicely and this is third term i just assume they are the first term second term and third term because the question doesn't tell me uh much info much information about that if if i have more information then i can do it better so over here okay i have so little information first thing is i know it, this is ap Okay, for AP, maybe I can assume this is A. And I know I can find out D. Because for AP, the D will equal to second term minus the first term equals to third term minus the second term. Alright, this is 
uh, the, uh, I mean the common difference. Common difference is D. Alright, and then we do not have the sum of, uh, I mean the sum of first few term. We yeah, we only have all this information. So first thing coming to my mind is maybe I can use the D to solve it. Maybe I can use this method because I have so little information for this question. So I'm going to try it out using this method. Alright, so. So the first thing is my second term. Let's call this one first term. This is second term, and this is third term. All right. So my second term is two cos theta equals to sine theta equals to my third term will be this one, two sine theta minus two cos theta. All right. Then I'm trying to solve this equation. I I believe after I solve this equation, I can actually find the theta easily. So whatever sign I group them together, I have two sine theta here. I move this one minus will become plus. So two sine theta plus sine theta. So I move the two cos theta to the other side. This is two cos theta plus two cos theta. So obviously this one will give me three sine theta, and this one will give me four cos theta. All right. I guess I'm almost done. When you see sine and cos happen together mean mean they are come they are over here together means you have sine and cos I mean alright so you know you must know something is tangent theta equals to sine theta over cos theta so that means I can change to tangent easily so I'm going to move the cos to the other side and move the 3 to this side so this is 4 over 3 this is sine theta over cos theta and then sine theta over cos theta I know this is tangent theta equals to 4 over 3 then the sim simple thing will be theta equals to shift tangent 4 over 3. Then I believe you can easily get the answer in radian if you change your calculator into radian. So yeah, I just changed my calculator into radian first. Okay, then I just press shift tangent and then 4 over 3. Yes, I get my answer is 0 0.927 radian. Alright, yes, this is how I get it answer so for B is not really hard if you get the idea because I think the only hard for B is yeah you must because a lot of students they will feel panic and then they or, or they will feel like so worried when when they see sine cos tangent in progression actually the idea is still the same you just use whatever information you have to try to solve the questions yes so yeah just try it out for like a and B. Yeah, I hope after you watch my video, maybe you can like take the same question and redo it yourself. See whether, uh, like how much you can understand. O okay, anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you find this video helpful. And please subscribe if you find this video helpful. Thanks for watching.